Welcome back everybody, I am the Jimmer, and this is the 100k Pirate Ship Battle Royale. This is going to be the fourth and final battle of the second round, and then after this we'll be moving on to the very first elimination round, the first battle in the loser's bracket, where one ship will be packing its bags and heading home. Our entries in this battle are the Float Sam by Zionix. Very cool looking ship here. Looks almost like a floating tower or building, but uh, let's see what it's got under the water here. Yeah, it just looks like some uh, buoyancy at the bottom and then also using uh, balloons to uh, keep it up out of the water. And some sails very, very up high, as well as uh, these high mounted cannons. Looks like an equal number of cannons on each face here. So. This should be able to attack uh, no matter uh, which way its enemy is facing. And uh, with its cannons up high, it should also have a uh, decent range advantage. So uh, its only weakness may be its inability to run from ramming enemies. But with its cannons this high, it might be able to take out an enemy, an enemy who tries to ram anyway. And uh, once again, this is the Float Sim by Zionix. And this is going to be going against... The you are a pirate, our uh, you know last round uh, winner uh, came very close to being eliminated and then was able to just you know hang around, be very tanky and uh, eventually pulled a uh, very very good win. So uh, this is the you are a pirate by Hyper Psychos, taking a little early damage here, but uh, definitely going to be. Uh, Dishing out some damage, and uh, I believe, if I remember correctly, these ships uh, are a, a little bit slow, and I, I think will stay out of range. I don't think they try and ram at all. So, it uh, looks like it's going to be a uh, battle of cannons here. Let's get things going. Alright, we are up to speed. Uh, both UR pirates appear to be... Is this... Well, one is getting its broadside off and uh, moving, and this other one appears to be having an AI fart or something. It, is it trying to move backwards towards the float sim? I'm not really sure, but uh, definitely an unfortunate start there for that UR pirate. The other UR pirate is doing work, though. It is uh, getting its shots off, uh, landing that valley, but... Uh, with this interesting uh, sort of geometric structure here of the float sim, it's going to be very difficult to take it out. Um, lots of beams very far apart that will hold this together. And then with its cannons up so high, it is definitely getting a range advantage. And it seems to have a massive amount of cannons. This, uh, this cannon fire is non-stop and a very large volley. This you are a pirate is, is, yeah, I don't know what's going on with it. The other one is doing fairly well, you know, executing its game plan. But this one just appears to, I, I wonder if the uh, AI, they uh, did not disable move backwards. And it is trying to move backwards towards the enemy. I know the naval AI will uh, derp out and do that sometime. And it's really frustrating. There we go. It's getting a few chops off now at least. And uh, this UR pirate over here is doing fairly well. You know, it's uh, moving so as to avoid the shots from the float sim. The flo shots from the float sim are uh, going so far, they're landing mostly behind. And then it uh, it's firing away, and it's more likely to hit its uh, stationary target. But uh, this float sim, uh, just super, super tanky with uh, all these supports. But, you know, not solid wood, so it keeps the uh, RP cost down. It's a very effective uh, strategy there on the uh, the tower base, or walls, or supports, or whatever, whatever you want to call it. Looks like this battle is going to be another long, long battle. We've seen these you are a pirate get low health before and uh, they seem they seem fairly damaged but they're able to tank a, just a ton of shots and uh, still remain deadly you know late late into the fight.
to float some movement around here, possibly switching targets. Looks like it is going to start sailing towards the other UR pirate. But uh, still firing shots at uh, both enemies. Got shots uh, coming in this way. On this uh, UR pirate. As you can see, it looks damaged, but uh, its its cannons are still pretty much all intact. It's just that uh, mass there in the middle that has been taken out. So it is it's crippled, so it's not going to be moving very fast, but it is still deadly to the Floatsim if it uh, gets in range. And then, uh, <laughs> it's amazing how the Floatsim is able to, you know, sustain two. It's fighting that uh, UR pirate on that front, and then fighting this one on this side, and it appears to be winning both battles, which is just amazing. That's going to be uh, a good entry, an entry to watch. I'm just curious how it's going to uh, handle uh, some of our ramming ships. They, I, sent, I think it might have a, a vulnerability to that, but uh, we'll have to wait until it happens to see for sure. This you are a pirate is uh, also disabled now. It uh, no longer has any sails, so it's moving very, very slowly. Like less than a meter a second. But uh, it is enough for them to you know, catch out if the, the battle stales out like this. You can see that uh, other UR pirate in the background is, is still maintaining its uh, you know, distance in the fight, even if it is slow to move. Oh, and the sail is just more to this bitty, bitty baby sail. Isn't that cute? Gets a uh, damage report. All right, both of you are pirates down into the 70s. Floats them at 92%, so definitely taking some hits. This is this is a battle we've got on our hands. Looks like the floatsim has uh, decided to move over to this side and uh, engage one you are a pirate at a time. Probably a wise decision. You know, no need to take extra damage if you don't have to. The firing, the firing from the floatsim has slowed. It's possible it has taken damage to some ammo barrels. Yeah, the the bomb used to be just non-stop. You know, four or five cannons going off, you know, continuously, and it has slowed down to just you know a, a trickle of shots. I mean, it is the only ship firing at this point, but uh, its damage output has been lowered significantly. And it appears that the UR pirate is still able to dish out uh, the same amount of damage. So uh, they could potentially, you know, tank this fight and uh, come back. Come back from way behind and, and win the fight like it did in its last battle. Alright, the battle has, has slowed significantly. Both these entries were really taking it to each other at the beginning. But uh, both are now exhausted, heavily damaged, you know, still in the fight, still trying to win. Neither, neither entry has given up, but uh, they have definitely taken some, some battle damage. You can see the floats in here uh, getting low on connections. Looks like still at least you know, eight or nine connections from the bottom to the top. So it's not in danger of being 
destroyed yet, but uh, getting chipped away. And uh, the Uara pirate here just uh, able to take a massive amount of damage. It appears it does have metal armor across the uh, top cannons or top of the cannons there, and uh, that's uh, you know keeping those cannons alive, keeping them in the fight a lot longer. The metal is uh, incredibly resilient to uh, the simple weapon cannon fire. Um, uh, just a regular block like this. I did some testing, and one block like that, you could shoot it, you know, five or six times before it would be destroyed. Let's see if we can uh, get eyes on the, oop, on the other URA pirate. See how it is doing. There are no heals in this tournament, so once uh, damage has been taken, it will not heal back. It appears to have most of its cannons intact. So, uh, if uh, the other URA pirate is taken out um, and the Floatsim makes its way over here, it will face another difficult battle. Um, this URA pirate, let's see if we can get its health. Yeah, so it's only down, you know. Oh, maybe 20% of its health, if that. Doing fairly well. Let's get a full damage report here. So floats him down to 88%. You are a pirate. Is at still hovering right around 70%. So, uh, I mean, it, it, the you are a pirate is behind, but uh, it's not out of this fight. Yeah, both bull ships now have uh, greatly slowed their firing. This this could take uh, quite a while. Um, I did say that the uh, the battles had a soft cap of 30 minutes. So if this this uh, battle here continues for uh, you know the, the 30 minute duration, um, we will uh, call it based on uh, damage dealt. So whoever has uh, dealt the most damage to the enemy at 30 minutes will be the winner. Yeah, I'm going to have to uh, definitely learn some uh, video editing, soft editing software so I can cut uh, stuff like this out of the video. You're really not uh, missing a whole lot if uh, I cut out like the last five minutes here. It's just been uh, you know, a battle between these two. I'm going to go ahead and leave it in on this because I just want to get this video up uh, you know, right away so you guys can uh, see, see how the battle progresses. But uh, if I do some more tournaments, I'll probably uh, actually learn some uh, video software so we can get uh, a little bit uh, more editing in the videos. I mean, I, I personally enjoy videos where uh, it shows the whole battle. And, uh, you know, if we get to a part like this, you can just like, scroll ahead. But I know a lot of people don't like to have to mess with it. Just, you know, see the highlights of the battle. You know, see the, see the parts you want to see and uh, not uh, spend, you know, 15, 20 minutes. You know, watching watching a fight.
both these ships are just staying right at the same range here. Looks like they are about 450 meters apart, I'd estimate. Something like that. So, you know, just right at the very edge of, of cannon fire range. I'm just gonna let this run right here and uh, look at a snack because <laughs> it looks like this one's gonna be a while. Alright, did, did I miss anything? Uh, it doesn't look like it. It just looks like more of the same. Let's get a damage report here. Yeah, not, not much has changed. Looks like uh, the rate of fire has just slowed to a trickle. And uh, very few shots these, these ships are firing are even uh, hitting. Most of them are missing, so... This should, uh, this should take the full 30 minutes, but I'll go ahead and, and let it go. I mean, as we saw in uh, some of the battles from the first round, um, things, can, things can turn around real quick sometimes. The AI decides to do something weird, maybe derps a little bit. Um, you can have a shift in the battle, but uh, it, at this point it appears the uh, Floatsim has uh, bested the You Are a Pirate. But uh, we'll let it go. Uh, another, I think it's... Uh, I should have started a timer. Oops. I'm thinking I think that uh, we'll let it go another six minutes. And uh, we'll call it then.
All right, guys. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, call this battle here. The UR pirate has uh, not been able to get in range to fire for a very long time, and the flotsam is just firing away. You know, see one shot at a time. It has lost the majority of its ammo barrels, but it still has its mobility, so it will be able to just continue maintaining this range as it, uh, you know, peppers out a couple shots at a time. And the URR pirate is, is just not able to advance the fight. But so uh, there's going to be a win for Floatsim by Zionix. He will be moving on to round three. We'll see this uh, ship in the next round. And then the URR pirate is still in the fight, uh, are still in the tournament. They're just moving down to the loser's bracket. So we'll be seeing the You Are a Pirate by Hyper Psychos uh, at least one more time. Alright guys, it was kind of a marathon, so uh, thanks, for, thanks for sticking with me, and uh, we'll catch you in the next video.